Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the Interior Architecture program. Shout out to all my students. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to look at what some call an instant LoRa, I think of it more as image blending. So you see this image here on the right. It's a nice rendering. It has a very ethereal look to it. There's kind of mist and fog in the atmosphere. And it's really a blend between six different images. And you see all six of these images here. And it's without a prompt. There's no prompt. So it's a straightaway image blend. We're going to look at adding a prompt to it. Um, and see how that affects the images. All right, before we jump into it, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click on subscribe, click on the down arrow to receive all the notifications. Help me get to 14,000 subscribers. That would be a really great milestone. There's something here for everyone. There's AI, there's real-time rendering, there's parametric modeling, there's digital fabrication. Also, connect with me on Instagram at my first name, Alfonso, underscore my last name, Peluso. Help me get to 11,000 followers. I've been making some videos that help architecture students along on their journey, and they've been really well received. Don't miss out on them. All right, let's head, head back to Comfy UI. All right, I'm going to cue the prompt a few more times and get a few more images out here. Okay, and there we see another one. So they're, they're all kind of in the style of the six images that you see on the lower left. So this could be called uh, a style Laura, a Laura Gan, not a Laura Gan, but a style Gan, or really just an image blend of six images, depending on how you want to look at it. So we'll do a few more of these here. All right, maybe another one. All right, how did we get here? How do we get here? All right. So let's go ahead and load the default workspace in. So here's our default workspace. So this is what we can start with and add to. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is on the load checkpoint, I'm going to change that checkpoint. I'm going to change it to architecture real mix. Okay, so where does all this come from, this image blending or this instant LoRa? Where did it all start? Well, it started with aloe vera. Yes, aloe vera. So aloe vera's instant LoRa enhanced the 2024 update. All right, so you can see how to use it and what the requirements are. So here under requirements, let's zoom into that a little bit more. Here under requirements, you need Comfy UI, which we're using. You need the Comfy UI Manager. You need a Clip Vision Safe Tensor. And you need an IP Adapter Plus SD15 bin file. In this video, I'm not using the Plus Face. You can find other videos that are using that. And then there's a link to the Clip Vision model, which is this is the Clip Vision model here. There's a link to that. And there's a link to the IPA adapter or IP adapter and that's this file here. Okay, so we'll be getting those files, kind of showing you where they originate from. Also in Comfy UI, if we look at my manager and I go to install custom nodes and I'm going to click on this filter and I'm going to choose installed. This is all I have for this tutorial. I have the Comfy UI manager and the Comfy UI IP Adapter Plus. So you have to just search for those two, Comfy UI Manager, which is uh, typically default, depends on where you're getting the Comfy UI from. And then this one is not default, Comfy UI Adapter Plus. You can install both of those custom nodes. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, so we have the load checkpoint. We're gonna need an IP Adapter Model Loader. So IP adapter model loader. Okay, and that has this IP adapter plus 
sd15.bin file. So if we go back to aloe vera's page, we can find that one here under, under all other models here. So I'm going to click on that link. I'm going to right click and open that link in a new tab. Sometimes these hugging face, uh, sometimes you need to refresh them. Okay, I was very patient with that. <laughs> I had to refresh that a few times. But here we got the IP adapter underscore SD15 bin, bin file. Okay, that needs to go in a special folder. So you're going to download that file, and that has to go in a special folder that probably isn't created under your Comfy UI. So if I look at my Comfy UI structure and I go into Comfy UI and then I go to Comfy UI and then I go to Models, I have an AP adapter folder. I had to actually make that folder. It didn't exist. So I made that folder and then if you go into that folder, that's where the IP adapter plus SD15 bin file goes. So make sure that goes in there and then in your Comfy UI, you'll be able to find that particular model. Okay, so that's one of two files that you need. We only need two files. The other one is the clip vision. So I'm gonna load in, I'm gonna load in clip vision. So load clip vision. And you'll see that is using the clip vision underscore 1.5 safe tensors. So if I go back to aloe vera's page, that's this one, clip vision 1.5 safe tensors. And I can get that here. The clip vision model is located here. So I'll go ahead and right click on that. Okay, and here it is. It's called model safe tensors. So you'll actually have to download it and change the name. Okay, so where is that one going? That one is going to go in the clip vision. So if I go over to my structure here under model, so under Comfy UI, Comfy UI here, models, there's a clip vision. And that's a folder that exists. So there's clip vision. And I named it clip vision 1.5 safe tensors. It was called model. If we go back over here, you see that it's called model safe tensors. So I just copy and pasted the text here, Clip Vision 1.5, when I renamed it to exactly that. Okay, so that's the two files that you need, the only two files you need, the Clip Vision 1.5 Safe Tensors and the IP Adapter Plus SD15 bin. All right, let's dive a little deeper. Okay, we need the IPA Adapter, so IP adapter and I'm using the IPA adapter advanced node okay so there we go that's the IPA adapter advanced node and we're gonna go ahead and start plugging some things in so I'm just kind of going from the going from the top to the bottom here model IPA adapter and then we'll get into image so the model is I'm using Architecture Real Mix for this. And I'm going to plug that into my model. So that is here. That's Architecture Real Mix. You can search that up on Civit AI, Architecture Real Mix. And then it's looking for the IPA adapter. That's this node. Plug that in. And then image, we'll get to that. We'll skip over that. I don't need image negative and I don't need a 10 mask but I do need the clip vision, so I'm gonna plug the clip vision in. Okay, so now it's just a bunch of images. This is what takes the longest. So I'm using the load, load image, and I noticed I can't copy and paste it because I, um, I lose the image output when I do that, so I had to keep making load images. All right, so we're gonna click Choose file to load, and then we'll go and get that file. Okay, so I have a bunch of images, and I'm selecting one image from each, each job that I made. I'll call it a job. Like, I made a whole bunch of images for Burning Man, and then I made a whole much, bunch of images for Lollapalooza, and I made a whole bunch of images for 
um, other ones, and I'm just choosing one of each. So I'm choosing a total of six. So this is going to take some time. So I'll just go through this and I'll fast forward the video a little bit. Okay, so that took a little time. So now uh, a little tricky part is the IP adapter advanced is looking for one image. So I can only plug one image. So I have to kind of do a little bit of a, I don't know, I'll call it a hack, I guess. Because I, I couldn't plug them all into uh, that image node at once. So I'm using an image batch or maybe it's a batch image. And that only has two inputs. If someone knows how to add more inputs to this, <laughs> let me know in the comments. So I'm just plugging in two of these at a time. So I'll fast forward through this. Okay, so I have three of these. So now I need to get this down. I need to funnel this down to one. So I'm going to do this with some more, <laughs> some more batch images. Okay, so I'm going to plug these two in. Now I have, I still have three, so I'm going to bring out another one. And I'm going to plug this one and this one. And voila, I have one image output. So I'm going to take all these here. I'm going to select them holding down my control key, select all of them. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to convert to group node. And I'm going to call this batch images. I'm just going to put my name in it, my last name, because so then I won't confuse myself thinking that that's an actual node. So batch images Peluso. And then I'm going to right click on it, on it again. And I'm going to choose collapse. I get this nice little, nice little node here that I can plug into image. Okay, so I got to uncollapse it <laughs> to um, plug it in. So I'm going to plug it in. And then I can right click and collapse it. All right, so that's that's everything we need. Now we can start generating some images. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's make let's bring out an image preview or preview image. Let's plug that in. This one I like because I can make the window a little bigger. So let's go ahead and cue the prompt going through pretty quickly. Haha. -ha. <laughs> okay. So almost there. I didn't quite plug everything in. I love that that image which is the beautiful beautiful scenery. The default prompt, beautiful scenery, nature, glass bottle, landscape. All right, let's get rid of all that. Let's get rid of the prompting. And let's let's see where we have to go here. So we didn't plug the IP adapter advanced model into anything and that just goes into the k sampler model okay now we should be ready to go so let's cue that prompt okay it's going to sit at the models that haven't been loaded so it'll probably sit at your load checkpoint for a little while sit at the ip adapter for a little while sit at the load clip vision a little while so it'll sit at those for a little while all right and then we start getting our images our image blends. Let's make this a little bit bigger here. See how big I can make this. Okay, that's as big as I can make it. All right, so let's just keep generating some images with this. Just cue prompting. Liking some of these that we're getting here. So they have this really unique feel to them based on the six images that I fed into it. And it's just really fantastic based on the six images and the checkpoint model. So that's what we're getting here. So now we can look at prompting it. And I'm going to prompt it in a totally different direction. I'm going to prompt it in a house. 
and sort of successful. I'm going to be sort of successful, but my my arc real mix my arc real mix checkpoint model isn't really good for houses, so you got to find another one for that one. But I'm going to paste that in. Okay, it's an exterior eye level view of a home in Chicago in the parametric style with a facade made of frosted translucent glass panels on multifaceted building geometry situated between two existing homes, soft translucent desaturated blue glow, tree lined streets, some people in the foreground, ethereal heaven like light, ambient occlusion, soft shadows. Okay, so a couple things that I didn't do that I normally do is I normally increase the steps, I just get a better sharper image, so 30 for the steps. And then I use a sampler, I use the DPMPP underscore 2M with a Keras scheduler. Okay, so that's something that I just typically go through and use. And what I want to do now is I want to see the image that it would generate without the six images as an image blend without those six images influencing the output. So I'm gonna go ahead and under weight, under my IP adapter advanced under weight, I'm gonna put in zero. So it's not gonna use that at all. And then I wanna see what ends up being produced. So I'm gonna cue the prompt. Okay, and there, there it is. That's the best architecture real mix can do um, for a house with trans, translucent blue glass glow situated between two homes, tree-lined streets. That's going to be a big factor, actually, in our final output. So um, just, just so you know, the can, CFG, uh, and maybe this is just a reminder for you, the higher that is, the more it sticks to the prompt. So higher values really use the prompt. Lower values are a bit more creative. Okay, let's... Let's raise our, our weight amount. Let's put that back to one. Okay, so that's going to probably not take the prompt into effect at all. So let's just cue prompt. Okay, we're back to these fantastic tall buildings with mist and fog in the atmosphere um, based on these images, that uh, these six images that I provided here. Okay, so let's start to add in the prompt. So I'm going to lower the weight down to 0.5. And let's see if I start to get some of the elements of the prompt in there. Some more people, some more tree-lined street. Yeah, I'm getting some more trees. I'm getting some people. I'm wondering if it can make the buildings a little bit smaller, a little bit maybe house scale. So I'm going to lower that weight to 0.25 and see what I get with that. Okay, there we go. There we go now. This is pretty nice. This is a good mix of what I showed you before the house and, and situated between two homes. We're getting a little bit of a nice mix. So I'm super excited about this, what they're calling Instant Laura. Aloe Vera, thank you. Thank you, Aloe Vera, for this. Loving it. Okay, anything else that I want to cover before we jump out of this? No, I think that's, I think that's pretty much it. All right, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Tell me why you like the video in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. My head's going to pop up in the upper left. Click on it to subscribe. And I'll put a video in the upper right and a playlist in the lower right. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.